3D printing to the next level. Scientists at the University of Southern California have developed a giant 3D concrete printer that can build a 2,000 square foot house in just 24 hours. Contour Crafting was one of the first companies on the scene of 3D printed construction. Starting before 2000, they were researching how to use this technology and the many different ways it could be potentially implemented into the construction environment. They've envisioned a fully integrated system that could build a complete house from the ground up. They're starting with the concrete walls. Here's a graph of all of the different projects up until 2015. All the way on the left you can see Contour Crafting's first project back before 1997. And now their craft trans printer is officially for sale in both military and civilian models. I recently spoke with early investor of Contour Crafting, Werner H. Bittner, on the Automate Construction podcast about how concrete printing will impact the built environment. A concept of combining 3D large-scale construction printing with automation, meaning that uh, basically contour crafting is uh, a fusion of technologies, a robotic, uh, at the, actually a robotic uh, solution or, or, or vision actually at the time. Uh, so you can visualize that thing, but basically a building while it rises being printed, everything else is automatically in, brought into the structure. Uh, regardless whether it is uh, rebar, whether it is uh, piping, wiring, flooring, tiling, whatever. So that was actually the concept. Uh, of course, then at, in 1994, it was a sheer vision, of course, of Professor, uh, Professor Krishnavis. Uh, but relatively soon, it was followed by the first patents um, in uh, 1996. Um, and uh, meanwhile, the company is holding over 100 national and international pot, uh, patents in this uh, field, actually, or in, basically in the field of 3D uh, printing, but mainly predominantly in 3D construction printing, actually. Here's some early footage of the contour crafting technology. At this point, they've amassed many patents. So for a lot of their technology, video is not publicly available, especially considering their military contracts. Now let's hear from Barack Koshnevitz in an interview he did with Fox Business. Now this machine builds structures uh, at full scale by layering concrete um, on top of uh, each layer, uh, much like traditional construction of uh, certain buildings, like bricklaying is a layer-wise fabrication process, uh, and that's uh, how 3D printing uh, is done. Um, now, who it is for? Uh, initially, uh, our target uh, is for low-income housing and disaster housing, emergency housing uh, around the world. My vision, uh, or our joint vision actually, is that, uh, and uh, we have stated this in our articles and publications so far, that we expect once the, uh, the um, uh, building code thing has been uh, sex successfully ticked off and this is just a matter of uh, needs to be done, right? It's not a question for us at least. Um, once we have such a, 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 a natural market, then I'm convinced that uh, um, contour crafting will gain market shares in the residential building, in the commercial building uh, sector, um, and, uh, and definitely in uh, disaster relief and social housing sectors. As Werner mentioned, permitting is a critical component of bringing this technology to the masses. Permitting is an old system that's very much set in its ways. Creating new regulations is not an easy task, but one that is well worth the effort for the long-term benefits it will provide. Earlier, we heard the Contour Crafting founder talking about how they envisioned a complete solution. Let's take a look at some of the ways this will be done. It's easy to make bold general claims like we'll automate the construction of an entire house, but Contour Crafting has put some effort into thinking about the details. Here's a rendering of a system they've designed to print a windmill. It operates from a single central arm that prints in a round circle each layer on top of the last. When that blue material compartment runs out, it fills up 
and then automatically returns to the printer to resume printing. At this point, you might be wondering how tall this windmill is going to be. The machine is able to rise up, initially supported by static pillars. Once it reaches a certain height, the static pillars are removed and wheels are attached that can scale the cured sections of the printed concrete. This allows the printer to theoretically print infinitely high. Even once it reaches great heights, the material compartment is lowered down via a rope and still automatically fills itself back up, then returns to the printer to continue. Ultimately, most of the parts are lowered down, and I believe the top section may need to be removed with a helicopter. Next, we'll take a look at an automated reinforcement system. Here, a unit screws in these reinforcing metal pieces. Like with typical rebar, all the metal needs to be tied in together in order to give it the maximum strength for the concrete. This system, after tying all of the metal pieces together, prints a layer of concrete over the metal pieces it screwed in previously. I'm just going to refer to them as reinforcements from now on. Once the concretes reach the top, they now are still evenly spaced, so the next reinforcements are screwed on the pieces remaining from the last. This process is continued the entire height and length of the wall, giving a completely interconnected vertical and horizontal reinforcement system. Optimally, the machine building this wall would be able to switch out from the printing head to the pick and place head quickly so that you would only need one machine to complete the task. A similar pick and place system could be used to install the plumbing. For any serious construction, or legally permitted architecture. Some plumbing and electricity will be required. Contour Crafting has considered how to automate this. These pipes are a metal like copper or some other alloy. The machine placing these pipes also has a heating element you see illuminating in red after it places each section. A majority of the projects we've seen only feature the concrete printed walls without considerations for electrical and plumbing beforehand. This theoretical system is completely contrary, envisioning an entirely new system dedicated to automation. It only makes sense that with such a disruptive technology, the entirety of the project would need to be rethought from the ground up. Electrical conduit runs vertically through the walls in some sections, with blank squares cut out for outlets. They've considered nearly everything except interior finishings like tile, flooring, and appliances. Also, these screws have to be screwed in somehow. Contour Crafting's ultimate vision is a completely autonomous construction system, but obviously that's a long ways away. For now, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to make sure you get all future updates. And if you want to buy the Contour Crafting Craft Trans 3D printer, here's how. I have just recently posted on LinkedIn. Uh, there is uh, uh, one of our employees by the name of Sebastian Gomez. Um, and uh, he is uh, responsible for the, the point of contact for any sales. So it's sebastian.gomez at contourcrafting.com.